Hey guys, I'm Pinkaboo West, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the second version of my duct tape wallet. So I'm starting off by taking um, 8 inch long strips, and then I'm just making an 8 by 8 square. And I'm doing the layering method here. And then I'm just taking that canvas, and then I'm folding it over and taping the sides. So that is now only a 4 by 8 square. And... Since we are folding it over and we're making the billfold right now, so you want all the edges to be sealed. And to seal them, I just took um, a 4 inch long strip and cut it in half. And this is what the billfold will now look like. So next we're going to be making the um, hidden pocket. So you want to take the same color. And for me, it's going to be a little bit difficult to hide it because I am using a pattern, not a color. But basically, you're just going to take a four inch long, two four inch long strips, slightly overlap them, and then flip it over and then put another or two more pieces of tape. And you want these to be overlapping so that we can make some rounded edges. So now I'm just folding over all of the pieces. So because we want the edges to be rounded so that it is less obvious when we attach it that it, there is a pocket there because it is supposed to be as hidden and invisible as possible. So as you can see, it's a little bit large for my card that I am using. So that is why we're going to have to cut it down just a little bit. So now I'm just taking some clear tape to just clear tape the edges, just like a strip of clear tape. And I forgot to mention that I also earlier um, clear taped the billfold. So now I'm just taking some clear tape to make our ID slot. And we want this to be the same size as our hidden pocket so that it hides the hidden pocket. And what I'm doing for this is I am using the layering method. So I'm just taking two pieces of clear tape and then I'm folding the top one over and then adding another piece of clear tape to the bottom and then folding that over. And once again, I'm just cutting any of the excess to make sure that it fits. Then I'm just taking a small piece of my um, second color and I'm just adding that to make a border so that we can see our ID pocket when we're putting our um, ID in. Now I'm just taking the two of them and just putting them next to each other to see exactly where I want them to be. And then I'm just taking a, a, a quarter piece of a tape that is the length of my card pocket. And then I'm just going to be sticking down at three of the sides. And because I did clear tape um, my billfold, I'm also going to be clear taping just the edges of this tape so that it will really blend in and nobody can tell any difference. And I'm then just rubbing that in with my finger. If you guys want to know how to clear tape your items, I will have that linked in the description box below. Alright, so now I'm just placing down my ID right over it, and I personally like to use clear tape to place down the ID rather than the penguin tape. I just think that it looks a lot better. You may have to put two pieces because clear tape isn't quite as strong as duct tape, but you should still be alright. And then you're just going to take a pair of scissors and cut some slits on the sides of the pockets to make sure that your cards fit perfectly. And um, so yeah, so this is what this half of our wallet looks like. So as you can see, the card fits in nicely for both of the pockets. So now we're going to be making the pockets for the second side. So once again, I'm taking my second color and I am taking two pieces of tape and using the layering method. So I'm taking two pieces of tape on one side and then one piece of tape on the other side, then folding those two um, uh, sticky pieces over each other. And 
So now I am making the V-shaped pocket. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to do this, I also have this on my channel. So go ahead and check that out. I will also have it linked in the description box below. But basically for one piece of tape, you just cut out a V-shape and then you stick it to a regular piece of tape, sticky side to sticky side. And then you just take a pair of scissors and cut a little slit and then fold the sides over so that there is a nice rounded edge. So next I'm just taking my two regular pockets and my one uh, V-shaped pocket and I'm just laying them next to each other to see how I want it and then putting it down onto the wallet to really see how I want it to look and everything like that. And then I'm just taking the first one and I'm just taking a little piece of scrap tape and I'm sticking that down. It does not need to be a full piece of tape. This is just to make sure your cards don't slide down. Then I'm taking the next pocket and repeating this process only with a smaller piece of tape because you don't want it to show through. Although this is a pe penguin's tape you still want it to look as neat as possible and for the v-shaped pocket you're just going to line it up with the bottom of the last blue pocket and then you're just going to go ahead and take a half piece of tape and you're going to go ahead and tape down the sides as well and don't worry if you're totally overlapping into the pockets we're going to cut some slits as well and just do that on both sides Alright, so now we're just going to be taking our scissors and we're just going to be, once again, cutting some slits in the side pocket to make sure that our cards fit perfectly, then folding those pieces of tape in. And as you can see with mine, I ended up having a little bit of the penguin tape like sticking out for one of the pockets and that looked really ugly, so I just took a piece of blue tape and I just covered that up. So this is the completed layout, and I absolutely love this wallet. Almost the entire thing is clear taped. There's just a few things that aren't clear taped, but it all fits in really nicely. The hidden pocket is totally hidden. The ID is nice and clear. I really like this wallet, and I hope you guys do too. And if you didn't, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss any one of my tutorials. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.